bloody doorbell just as I start recording. Anyway, welcome to welcome to a new series of Jules's little ability. <laughs> right, so uh, welcome back anyway. Just carrying on with this build now. So on last episode we stuck me lockers in. Not on there, they've all stuck now, they're not fell off yet. Or oh, man, I'm not trying to stand off yet. So I'll have to check that. We're on to the kitchen bit now. Now I had a couple of issues with the kitchen. Which is this bad boy here. The instructions Evo sent me were different to what the actual unit would come, even though it's the same unit. And apparently, I thought there was loads of bits missing to it and it did me, I did. But apparently, um, it's had a redesign because of the four befores. As you can see on, our, on these, the floors are higher, quite a lot higher, really. And apparently, the unit interfered with like window cassettes and blinds and stuff like that because of the height of the actual unit. And this is the v, V8 Evo one, and it's the big one with the, where the big fridge goes into it. Just more beer room in it, really. You know what I mean? And you can see the so I've dropped a couple of bollocks with this one actually. I'll go through the bits what, what I thought was missing. So we had a shelf here on this front section. This is just part built because it's carcass and that. This had a shelf on the actual drawings of it, like a whole cord out so you can get like. You know the plumbing, the taps, and all that crap that come through it. But they've said no, it's wrong that now. So now it just has two slats which go across it now. So I can put these in, get these sorted. So I'll build these up and get them in. There's two of them go on. I've done all the doors, and everything, and then we'll do the draw runners. But I've had a little issue with this unit. It's supposed to be a push fit, and the back's supposed to be scribed. They've said that they've not scribed it because it's designed now to fit against this pillar. On the outside, which yeah, fair enough, I understand that, I get that. Because like, if that's scribed in, this unit comes right up to the door and it, I can see why it would interfere with the windows and that. I'm looking at the safari window for this door because there's no opening windows in the back, apart from obviously the vents and stuff, but they're just factory windows, what's in it. So it might be a case of whipping that window out and then putting a, like a safari one, you know what opens up like that? Yeah, you get just to it anyway. But I cocked up with this unit. Because my floor, slightly high with insulation the evo units are set to like 18 mil and you can get a plus 30 and i'm 25 mil taller so my unit's 25 mil taller so the, the drop down bit this step here much more than 25 mil to be honest with you it's quite big so it, it don't match i'm not going to order another side panel for that because one it's going to take ages to get here and two shipping costs and it'll probably cost a fortune anyway just that one panel not too sure what I'm going to do with this gap yet, so if anyone's got any ideas, stick a comment down below whether we can put like a fill in or just some sort of edging really, what go along here, you know, for, fill this gap, so can you just put like an edging on here, around it, you know, just for tidy it up a bit and see how that lines up. Not too sure what to do with this bit yet. So that's what we're up to with this anyway, with the kitchen bit, so we can get this in. It's turned some bombs out again here, again, isn't it? Get lined up and then I can start fastening all of the units in. This back panel here, I'm gonna to have to take these studs out. These, because they're gonna interfere with what I've done, which is gonna cause me pain in the ass. I'm gonna pull this unit out, cut into this material, and then get to the back of the nuts then to, to get rid of them, and then just stick me a um, ply panel at the back of that, and then mount all the victual stuff in these little bays. He says, if I fit. So that's gonna be like a jigsaw really, doing that. So that's gonna take a bit of time. I'm not gonna record that because it just bore the shit out of you, to be fair. And then, I think once I've tackled that kitchen, got that tidied in, we're gonna do the shower. And I'm gonna hopefully, might jinx it again here now, Jonesy Jinx. That should go in, and I'm hoping that unit's square to that one, which you know it's not gonna be. That's, I've got a feeling that's gonna be pissed. I don't know why. I'm not gonna say it's that big, to be honest with you. I mean, the biggest one I've got is this Magnuson one here. No, like that. That big, really big enough at bottom bit. It'll give me a straight test at floor, like, but I don't think floors have a to be honest. Yeah, right. I'm gonna crack on this kitchen anyway because I'm waffling on too much. Get this wazzed in. Oh, he's staying that as well. Bamboo works out beautiful. Well, it's absolutely bouncing down out there. Kitchen's on hold at minute because we've just pulled, I pulled all them studs out so that could sort of carpet back, get them out. Oh, what a faff they were, I tell you. So I think what I'm going to do with this bit now, I've left the corner on in there, that's my ground piece. Clear all this crap off here now, I think I'll put this back panel on here. Now, I mean, two minds, whether to stick that on the wall there, but I'm not too sure how much interference that's going to be with that that unit there whether it comes out too far it bulks out too much i don't know yet check that and then what i am going to do is on these back panels here i think i've decided to put a ply panel inside these and then all the victron stuff can be mounted to that and then probably trim them shelves down to get the multiplus so i'll get the dimensions out and trim them down get the multiplus in i think and we'll do it that way told you 
workshop. When I got my board, right, there was a couple of uh, off cuts, uh, what they use for packaging. And I had this nice, like, silver board. Quite smart, actually, that. So, what I thought was I'd offer up this unit here and cut it out of the back. So, just cut this piece out now. I'm just going to stick this in. That's going to go in there. That latch in my backboard for picking all you know Victron stuff on. It's just nice. I like the colour of that, mate, actually. Quite nice. Do you know what, right? I wish I'd have ordered my units in that colour, to be fair. And that just fits in there, just nice. And all the Victron stuff then will mount to that. And it'll give me the space at the back to drop all the cables through. I don't know if you can get a good picture of that. Obviously, this will flush up. It's just enough gap there for dropping all the cables down the back. And then we'll, we'll knock a few holes through this. And then we'll do the same on the bottom one. Hopefully, that next bit I've got left should fit. This should tidy up a bit, that, you know. It looks nice and it's like a nice background. I was going to use a bit of plywood, but oh, fuck it, we've got that now. Let's use it. Cheers, Evo. Right, so we're going to try and get all that. And then two little cuppy holes there. It's going to be a right mesh, that. Well, it's late Friday night, knackered. That board's been stripped. Bundle of shite on the floor there. And I've managed to squeeze the top section in. That was a tight fit. And then just started doing bottom bit now. But struggling now because I've got the servo jacks that go in. Not too sure where to stick that yet. Got the solar isolator there. And it's rail for go on. There's not much room in there. Power cables do me head in that side now because the back one's quite tight, so I've not really got anywhere to put that yet. And then I've got my uh, main isolator for going as well. Done for tonight. Tomorrow's job that one. Right, so I've got this stuff here Osmo Top Oil Woodwork Kitchen Joint Tops. And I've just started putting it on here now to see the difference on it. This is a clear satin, this one. So I thought I'll give this a call first, let this dry while I'm faffing about because I've got a tendency of putting stuff on top of it. And every time I put stuff on it, I'll leave a ring mark or do it mark, so I'd rather get it treated now. So it's done, just using a, a nice sponge. You know, if I put it on, see what finish this comes up with. See how that works out. And then I'll show you the old uh, unit when I've done this bit. Right, so big units in now. It's a big unit, little unit. And this is where all the big trunks just housed now. I'm not going to lie, that was a bit of a shit trying to get all this in. This top section, i squeeze in. So this is not, it's not finished off yet. I've got some capping to go on these yet, you know, in, inside here. Um, servos in up that section there. I've got to run, I've got to put a new, crimp a new end on this one because this cable's too long. And as you can see, there's not much room for movement in here. So I'm just waiting for terminal end for come for that. So I can crimp that back on and then stick that on. And this top section then is done. I'm going to put the blue capping on. Bottom section, slightly tight as well. Back to protected corner there. Orion, charger. That's got to have its feed pushed through from that hole in the corner. Um, solar and PPT has been done, so I've got to run the solar cables back to the isolator here. Get that done. Main isolator is here. That was hard for put in. And then I've got to do a bit of jiggery poker with this corner piece here for cap all that off in there, which is not too bad. And then in this section here, what I've done, I've fed the big cables through at uh, the back there. So you've got my ground, uh, battery terminals, and the um, multi plus cables. So I've had to take the middle shelf out of this one on this end because there used to be a shelf along here on that one. And then what I'll do is put the multi plus in and see because I weren't too sure where this bracket had come to when I had it in the house when I was doing it all in the house. So I'm going to put the multi plus in. I'm hoping it fits in that gap there. I think that's going to be quite tight, that to be fair. But fingers crossed, we'll, we'll see, we'll see. And then put the multiple bracket to the back edge up here somewhere so you can mount that to the van because it's quite heavy unit that probably cut a slot into here at the bottom and then my top cables under and the battery just fits under that one there so at the minute now i've got 100 uh, 200 amp power battery i'm going to see how i run with that first see if that's any good it should be it's a lithium battery like a bit strong battery and it costs a pissing fortune as well we'll, we'll see how, how that goes on a couple of trips if it's worst case now i'm running out of power um, the solar should step it up like there's 100, 275 watt panels on roof fixed from panels so they should um, put enough juice back into it worst case now is i've just have to mortgage my house to get another battery <laughs> i'll stick that so god knows i've got to put it like because it's not going to fit under there because that is the arch under there that's where we're up to now with that bit i think what i'm going to do now is go and grab the multi plus stick that in and then once I know that's in place and the two forge all connected to that, I can bolt this unit in and get that one fastened to the van. I'll tie up the little cables there as well. Just finish off that worktop there. Probably do another coat tomorrow, but I'll let that dry. Oh, quite nice actually that. And then what I'll do, once I've got that unit fastened, I can then stick this kitchen unit 
up against it now i know where it's going and then start screwing that in and then i can start feeding all my stuff from behind there i mean it's not too much actually because because i've used the og beam um switch panel there it's quite tiny that i think what i am going to do is put another um fuse bo block here and that'll be like my permanent lives i'll forget what i'm going to put on that they'll not be switched they'll just be like permanent lives or what doesn't need turning on off if you know what i mean we can uh, start working on this side then so i want to get that that bit done first so let me crack on with them and we'll get in there it's coming on now great so that's multiple plus unit mounted what i've done with that one i've just put a a board at back and that spare board again and then just um angle back at the top there and then some chocolate some little blocks there at the bottom and then routed that bottom bit out so all the cables can go underneath here go through hopefully it should work out that a bit tighter than i thought it'd be but I've got my choice cables on now get all this done you know when you change your mind or something and you want to change something right and then you've just got a two minute job pop a little hole in and get it done just cost me an hour Sadly put that panel up there, didn't I? So I thought I'd drill a little hole, get it in there, feed the wire through, Bob's your uncle. You only went through the fucking cable, didn't I? So that pull, all that cable's round off, break the seals on it, knock it all back up again, feed me cable through, which made that bit a bit easier, so fair play. But then I had to change the cable, I bust. It had nicked it, but you can't take risk of it, because it's gone through both sides and it pushes it through. You might as well just whip it out and change it, but I'll tell you what, I had everything all lined up, units. Oh, God. that's finished off now. It's quite dead nice, that, so there. That was in position. Just waiting on a couple more bits for that electric one, that one. And then that was done, and I'll just put the bed bit on. I'll just start ripping all out again. <sighs> tell you, dummy was on bottom lip. Very close. On a good note, though, I've got some water pipes in. Whee! They're all in there now, and I've channeled them along the front step. We get in there, just get this back on now, get this put back together again, and then um, crack on with the rest of junk. We still waiting for some bits to turn up. Still not rocked up yet today, which I thought they would do. So we're still not on that yet. Pretty much everything's in, just need that battery cable going in. Well, new negative terminal because it won't reach. And 26 quid for a meter of cable. Holy shit. I'm looking, waiting for a 16 amp MCB as well for that back bit. Just for the uh, MultiPlus coming in. Now, quite a few people have said that uh, the shore supplies the MultiPlus. Uh, they've not bothered putting MCB on it or the disconnect or any protection on it because really you can't take post to have this protection on and um, same for your house as well but i've put one on anyway just to, just to, for peace of mind really because what's it you know it's there but it's holding me up so it's never happened now but anyway we're waiting for that to come on and then test that system then because i've even tested it since i put it back in so the battery these cables here the bms back cables they don't reach so that's order two more of them 32 quid just everything is just a massive cost but on a positive i've managed to get me a victron up there so that's on the top beam now so that's looks a lot tidier just fits as well and then my trimmer just stuck that up there and uh just that cut into it at the back there so that's all wired in now ready so as soon as you get a boiler in there that'll connect to the boiler straight up and then the, there's my donkey fuse box so that's my permanent one and that's going to be my switches might swap a few of these around actually first but don't know yet just stuck my main pump on there now which is down there so that wiring down there ran out of wire and i thought fucking might as well just make me on and i really way over gauge for what i need it so we've knocked that up that's tested so black there neutral fed the water pipes through as i showed you today so under the step there i've running everything through there because that's going to be capped off that so pipes one continuous loop as well so there's not many joins in that and that just goes through the bottom here shows a little burn there still waiting for my bit to come i'll sort i'm going to cable tie all that up when i get right to it it says I've fitted this bracket in here, that just, this bar here for the doors, just clears the back, so I had to bring the multiples forward to get the bar and just chamfered that edge off at back here as well, so that closes to quite tidy. Need to measure that water tank, so the water tank was in this bit here, but I'm having a bit of a nightmare with that. 330 quid they want for a fucking water tank, a little water, well it's not a little, it's length of unit like, but just seems expensive that for, for that really. Uh, this one's rocked up from Energy Monkey. Cheers, pal. Got the extension leads for the battery, which are those BMS cables there, uh, right at the end, you can see. So, I've got them that fit. He kindly sent me some um, connectors as well. Got me servo and, yep, yeah, lost them. Got them two seconds and I put them down somewhere. Can't bloody find them. Anyway, so I've got some clips of the servos, like, oh, there they are. These little bad boys. And these connect at the bottom of that there for tank sensors and stuff, because these are missing, so. Not man, just like that. Twenty six quid for a meter of cable. Holy shit! 
So this one's iFlex 95, 95mm. Only got two 95 by 8 mil holes for crimp on. A bit of heat shrink as well. Last one I put the insulation tape and everything. And the old chintzy um, crimper. Sticking it in there and hydraulic pump and pump it until it crimps it and it'll be solid. Tell you what, absolute godsend these things. All the way through the build I've used this for testing bits on. I've had it on my panels as well, so my panels have been charging up on roof. So made a little blag thing of like that. So battery terminals on that. That's tucked in. BMS cables extended and brought through. I've just stuck that temporary MCB in because I'm waiting for the 60 amp. It's only 10 amp of that. But it's running through um, a 25 amp breaker on that one. So that's just testing that for a minute. Just make sure the inverter's working. I haven't switched this on yet. So at the minute, solar switched off. Just check this one because I've got some loose wires down here. Make sure that's wazzed off. Stuff what's connected's got a fuse in. Stuff what's connected, what's not got a fuse in, it's not wired up. So let's give this a whirl. Right, let's see if it's got a crack. Usual. Shipped me up that first time I did that. Right, so far so good. That's on, that's on. Should have said that multi plus. Don't know why that's inverting, because it's switched off. Go check that in a minute. It's a good job I fucking put that on. Flick the uh, solar on. Get some power in that. And then go and check out monitor, see that's come on. Come on, big John. Boot up, inverters off, solar. Not getting out in a minute. So I'll have to check that one because I've just put them leads on. I've got no DC power going out either at the minute. It's got a glitch somewhere. Because normally the DC power should show like a five watter, five, six watts for the system power. And I've not got no solar either. Something's amiss. Warning's come up now. Smash solar charger MPPT BMS loss connection. Ah, little bastard, Luya. What an head wreck that was. So it turns out. The RG cables at the back, at the top, got the wrong way around. Swapped them around and it just booted up, fired up. That what a ran how random was that? Because it weren't giving me any information on it, yeah. We're getting nothing from the BMS, no no solar, and it just gave me a solar warning. And it turned out the RG cables at the wrong way around. What the fuck? Sorted. We've got power. Well, there she is. Look at that. That turned out better than I expected. That's the top row. Bottom row, all junk in it. Look at that. Hey, that's come on mint that. Absolutely spot on. Well impressed. At least some of it's gone right. That was hard work, that, I tell you. Getting all them cables in there and squeezing all that stuff in it was an absolute mission. Luke, Luke, I've aged 10 years. <laughs> really, I think that's got to end on this one because that was a bit mix and match because I was doing a bit of kitchen, a bit of Victron stuff and this back unit, so I think that should be enough. You don't want to boil to death, do I? And then on next turn, you're going to see me attempt to start getting that thing in. TTFN.